Welcome back to another product review and today I'm going to take a look at The Art of Ralph Breaks the Internet by Disney. I had this book for a while now, as you can see it is <laughs> not exactly in the best condition. Let's take this off and that's really nice. I like that one. It's a nice color but again I've been looking at it for a while and it's been moving around in the office it's a bit damaged but that is the front see the spine definitely like those colors white on red definitely into like these kind of colors like clearly yellow uh, but orange and that kind of like reddish orange is kind of nice but anyway let's take a look at it that is your main intro here and as always as you know as i'm looking at these art of books i'm always a big fan of Kind of the rough approach, rough details, rough sketches, character explorations, and not the overly glossy aspect of things where it's already kind of done. I do like this though, it's kind of, it's a nice presentation. Of course, with that kind of movie, with the uh, game aspect of it, I love anything with pixel art. Old friends here, <laughs> they're fun characters though. I do like the movie, I do like the first one a lot, but I like the second one a lot too. Uh, I'm not sure, I always feel kind of like uh, online it doesn't get as much love. I also love drawovers, by the way. It's always cool to see. And of course, I like stuff like this. I don't know why this fascinates me when you got the 3D model and then you got drawovers over it with explanations and details and I love all that stuff. But to me, Wreck-It Ralph 2 is kind of like Frozen 2. I like Frozen 2 a lot. Love these. These are great. Great poses, facial expressions, the stretch in the face. Look at that. I love it. So that's the stuff that I scan. I have another review about a specific scanner I want to show you. I love all that, all the details and decals and just props and sets and stuff. It's great. I am definitely a fan. But anyway, I do like Frozen 2 a lot. And potentially actually more than Frozen 1. I know, heresy, but I don't know. So I am stoked for Frozen 3. And they do say there's a Frozen 4. It's a lot, we'll see. The internet. Also all the little details and, and you know, kind of, say cameos, but kind of Easter eggs and stuff like that. I love that in the movie. I do like the presentation of this, the way this is presented like this. I like that, and of course, all the kind of production design-y stuff. I like tech things with cables. I don't know, maybe that's why I also like that aspect of the movie. You got the hub, I've got very slippery fingers today. It's gonna be like a five hour long flip through as I'm trying to go through this. Look at that, I love stuff like this. So cool. Future design stuff, like different, I don't know, I, I love that. So this might just be something that's specifically for me. Classic, that almost kind of reminds me of um, just a night and day. Not short, it's awesome. Building the web, little Tetris style. Look at those buildings, they're so cool. I love it, love all that. That's cool. Such cute designs. Got your Google and YouTube. Instagram, of course, you know, all the references to all the big companies and stuff like that. But I don't know. I'm curious. Maybe leave a comment. Did you like Ragged Ralph 2? Yes. Why? No. Why not? <laughs> and if you liked, did you like any of them? Did you like one or two? Which one did you like more? It's cute. I love this. So many cute designs. Look at stuff like that. I love it. I don't know. I guess it must be the tech aspect of it mixed with um, video games and kind of referencey stuff and sci-fi aspect i don't know <laughs> all those characters i love that i don't know i might be in the minority of liking this movie but that's just how it goes this guy had a lot of fun animation in there facial expressions were great the timing was great it's cool to see all the different design variations of this and again i like the presentation i have seen much worse subjectively much worse art of books of course, if you've watched any of my book flip throughs, you know which one is my favorite. I'm gonna let you uh, guess. I'll wait before I blend in the card of my favorite one. These are cool, cool expressions. Because that one just had, to this day, such a bonkers amount of drawovers and tips and, and how they got to like to the 2D aspects of it and and animation tips and posing tips. It was just such a cool art book. But I love I love these kind of Character explorations, always like these because of colors and composition. That's always a great reference. Look at that. I guess I just like those designs. It's like uh, Mitchell's versus the machines. It's good stuff. 
cool, cool pose of shit. Also really awesome animation in it. It's a fun design. Definitely a lot of posing and expression references. So I'm definitely a fan of this art of book. I have to say. For instance, compared to Frozen 1 or 2 art of books, I felt like Frozen 2 was more my jam than Frozen 1 in terms of the art of book. But then again, there were a lot of drawings and explorations of the characters. That's a... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. That might not fit into the whole thing, but if I can squeeze this in here. That is the top page right there. Slowly go down. So that is this page, this page, that, this here, this here, and that. Of course, inclusion of some cartoony Star Wars characters was fun. Anyway, going back to Frozen. I'm talking a lot about Frozen for a Wreck It Ralph book, though. It's so cool. I love this. It was just sometimes you see online um, artists who post their work from the movie. And that is not included in the art of book, which is a bummer. Of course, they can include everything. This would be a massively big book, which I do, of course, would love to. Love it. This could crack me up. So much fun to animate. Come on. Cool designs, cool mood. Yeah, this is so much fun. I like it. Anyway, so sometimes I see this stuff online and then I get the art of book hoping or thinking that that's going to be in the book as well. And then it's not, and that was kind of the bummer for the Frozen books. This also cracked my little one up, especially at the end. Acknowledgements. Color keys. And there you go. Now, as you go back, which funny enough, you know, we got into spoilery territory and, and the other characters and the dark and everything. And right around when they get to the... Uh, Kind of the Disney hub with the princesses here. So you got Crash Override. You got these that are really fun. Love seeing all of this. I guess maybe because it's a crossover of a different franchise and maybe, I don't know, licensing or whatever it is. There is nothing Star Wars related. No little explorations of the characters, little designs, which was a bummer when I first got it. I thought that would be kind of cool to see. Maybe they started really cartoony into more of the realistic depictions of the stormtroopers and stuff like that, but that is not to be found in this book. But there we go. That is the flip through. Again, I'm back. It's really fun. I like it. There's a lot more. I got a bunch. There's a bunch in there, but I think the next one is going to be Puss in Boots. Still wrapped. I haven't looked at it yet. Shiny, 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 not open yet. So I think that's going to be the next one for next week. And that is that. Thank you for watching. As always, like and subscribe for the algorithm, all that good stuff. If you want to see more of my flip throughs and reviews and kind of, you know, my, my rambling as I flip through the books. But there will be more on this channel. As always, kind of check it out if you want to browse around. And that's that. I'll see you in my next video.